smile for me, Jamaica. Hey guys, before we get started, if you like chronic, smash that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on all post notifications. Watch to the end so you can hear a message from Chronix himself. All about Chronix in less than 5 minutes. Jamar Rolando McNaughton was born on October 10, 1992 to father and singer Chronicle. We all know Jamar as Chronix, but before then, he was known as Little Chronicle, a name bestowed upon him as a junior because of his father. Chronix is a Jamaican reggae artist whose family is very musically inclined. In an interview, he stated that, and I quote, My music come from early beginnings, from childhood days. I used to sing at school, in church, and then my whole family sings. My daddy, Chronicle, caused me to be very exposed to music from a very tender age. That's where the music started for me. Professionally now, that's when I was in high school. I started producing, making rhythms, but the music got from then until now. When I was 15, 16, I started producing and it was a great vibe for me. Close quote. With that being said, at age 5, Chronix, or Little Chronicle at the time, penned his first song, Rice Grain. Moving on to adolescence, he attended the St. Catherine High School, where Chronix's music venture had just begun. And at age 11, Chronix recorded an unreleased gospel track with Danny Brown. Juggling school and music, Chronix became a harmony vocalist for Loose and Fire. As stated before, Chronic started building and producing rhythms from a tender age and amongst those rhythms include the Freezer rhythm for Icebox Records. Chronic's music is deemed a reggae revival, but before then tragedy struck within his family when his brother died in 2009. However, within that same year, Chronic teamed up with Romain Teflon, Arnett, to write. On the upside of things, Chronic's big music bus began in 2012. And how, many may ask? Well, let's just say the Chronicle artist appeared at festivals such as Reggae Sunfest and Tracks and Records nightclub and restaurant. Amongst his appearances, Chronix was featured on the Major Laser curated mixtape Start a Fire. Ah boy. And in 2013, the hits just kept coming with Smile Jamaica and Here Comes Trouble. Oh, and remember I said he teamed up with Romaine? Well, guess what? Romaine was a part of the Zinc Fence record. And guess who got to go on tour with the Zinc Fence band in both the US and UK? Yup, that's right, Chronix. In March 2013, Chronix also traveled to Kenya as a peace ambassador where he gained a large fan base and also performed at the Tuko Rada Peace Concert in Nairobi. In that same year, Chronix performed in front of over 10,000 people at the Reggae Song Fest for a second time. Adding to his many accolades, on April 1st, 2014, Chronix dropped his EP, Dread and Terrible, which topped Billboard Top Reggae Albums charts. And to add icing on the cake, Chronix appeared on the Jimmy Fallon Show and his Central Park Concert EP saw significant gains. In 2017, Chronix's debut album, Chronology, received a Grammy Award nomination. And on March 13, 2020, Chronix released the first single, Della Move, from his upcoming second album, Della Splash. Chronix has won awards such as Culture Artist of the Year, Best New Artist and Entertainer of the Year at the Linkage Awards in New York, as well as Prime Minister's National Youth Award for Excellence. Amongst his many songs include They Don't Know, Spanish Town Rockin', and Who Knows, just to name a few. Chronic said it best when he stated that he doesn't, and I quote, have expectations with people, but I have very high expectations for myself. The only time I get disappointed in life is when I disappoint myself, close quote. The message for today is, 
don't disappoint yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching.